Hello, and welcome to our series of podcasts on the subject of mobile marketing and how your organization can navigate and command this exciting new marketing channel. Mobile is now finally beginning to deliver on its promise to advertisers. The mobile marketing industry has long predicted the arrival of broadband mobile internet and rich multimedia phones in mass, and we are now seeing consumers' understanding, interest, and use of these technologies deepening daily. So what exactly is mobile marketing? Well, we define mobile marketing very simply as brand and or content communication directed to a mass audience, a targeted group, or an individual that is designed to add value and create an action or response using a mobile phone. Using mobile, organizations can now go beyond exposure and brand impact. They now have the ability to truly deliver brand, product, and service engagement. The personal relationship that exists between consumers and their mobile phones, together with the ability afforded by mobile advertising today, gives organizations more than ever a bounty of opportunities to forge strong and fruitful brand, service, and product relationships with consumers. A successfully commanded and effectively engaged cohesive mobile marketing strategy with associated tactics can yield a significant competitive edge. So how did all this begin? Let's flash back to August 2000, where thousands of music lovers are attending Virgin Music's V2000 Festival in the south of England. Once inside the arena, they eagerly scan the concert's event brochure and a double-page ad at its center catches their eye. The ad's call to action asks them to take their mobile phones and send a text message containing the word "Was up to a special phone number. Soon after, one lucky attendee is punching the air in joy. They've just won £2,000 in the first major SMS text messaging competition courtesy of Budweiser. Later that week, Anheuser-Busch airs the now infamous Was Up TV ad during the series finale of Big Brother. Simultaneously, during the advertisement break, all previous Virgin V2000 mobile campaign participants receive a text message from Budweiser to forward onto their friends. By Monday morning, thousands of mobile phones up and down England are beeping to signal the delivery of one of the most famous advertising hooks of the 21st century. Mobile marketing is quite suddenly born. So how can business owners capitalize on this opportunity? What sectors is mobile most relevant to? How can mobile integrate into the established mix to support overall marketing objectives? And how do we measure its overall effectiveness? These questions and many others we'll be answering in the upcoming series of planned podcasts as we look at the strategy, ingredients, and method your organization can blend and apply to a successful mobile marketing and advertising strategy. So how does today's mobile marketing landscape look? Mobile marketing is certainly a growing business. In 2007, global brands spent some $5 billion on wireless advertising up from only $421 million in 2006. By 2013, an estimated $24 billion worldwide will be spent on combined mobile advertising services. Key to this acceleration has certainly been the evolution of cheaper, smarter, function-rich handsets by manufacturers and enhanced music and software download services offered by cellular carriers. This portrays the cell phone as much as a fashionista statement as a communication device, and the continued convergence of technologies only fuels the can't-live-without status of the cell phone. This all arguably makes the cell phone perhaps one of the most successful consumer products in history, with approximately 2.8 billion handsets in use worldwide, outnumbering television sets by 2 to 1 and personal computers by 3 to 1. Now more than ever, we heavily rely on these devices to constantly fuel our hyperconnected lives. This makes for an incredible opportunity by commanding a unique and very powerful marketing channel. Organizations now may drive awareness and knowledge message content directly to the widest possible audience. They can create campaigns where consumers may instantly connect, engage, and interact with delivered content wherever they are. Yet mobile still sits on the sidelines of most, if not all, advertising expenditure, 
and represents only a small portion of the total media spend. Why? The reason is, though, mobile marketing today still continues to pass through the innovator and early adopter phases this new technology embraces. Thankfully, though, this process is rapidly accelerating as market forces, consumer demand for mobile content, technology ease of use, and changing socio-cultural patterns are now fueling a rapid shift into high gear for the channel. We as consumers now expect and demand content that is formatted for our increasingly mobile lifestyle and are quick to reject content we cannot easily consume or act upon while on the go. So what kinds of businesses are using the mobile channel right now?